Yes. Bugger, I'm gonna have to smash the door, door now. Uh, this, this, I know that would take an hour of meditation. What is it? <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe you could summon the door from its housings through the warp. <laughs> oh, well, it, it doesn't actually say anything about that, though. Because meditation is actually just to remove fatigue, uh, it says. Scythia, pay attention. Yeah, I know, I see. Okay. It's quite clear that some form of alarm has gone off. And you see all the guards ready their weapons. And the guard on the couch Hello. eagerly points his at Kaltos. <laughs> hey, I, I take a grenade. <laughs> Barn, you might want to try charming someone. <laughs> uh, I think it's beyond be... charming. <laughs> I don't know, I did just roll a two. Yeah, just say it doesn't need to get ugly. Okay, uh, that's all you're gonna say. Well, it doesn't I'm... need to get ugly. Well, if you know what I mean, just you know, I, I all right, the charm to particularly to... for. I'll join like the uh, situation like... with diplomacy. I fail. <laughs> He's this way. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you now for asking questions. It would um, also brings out grenades. multiple grenades. There's a short form the world would be ashamed to damage mine. <laughs> really? <laughs> I can't help it, it's such a good movie. <clears throat> He's mulling it over. I did get it too. Okay. Um, well, regardless of how much you charm this guy, you're you're still asking the wrong questions. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, how do we roll for initiative? roll initiative? How do you roll for initiative? Uh, D one hundred. I think it is plus D10 your plus your agility bonus. D10? Okay. What was that? D10 plus agility bonus. Oh, okay. Okay, so I uh, got... Uh... I got... 12. My... 9. Abba has 12. I got 13. Plus agility bonus. I'm thinking Scythia is going first amongst us. I'm going last. Woo! <laughs> the only one that actually has a gun. I do. I have a gun. I have a big gun. I it, got a, last a reliably gun. big gun. I have a crossbow pistol and throwing knives. Crossbow one of them in the head. <laughs> Maybe you could separate it from his body. <laughs> but uh, Scythia, something tells me you're going to be using some sort of warp power shortly. No, I was actually just going to use my gun to start with. Don't want to reveal that I am a psyker. Yeah, probably a bad idea. <laughs> we don't need to <laughs> summon okay, the I greater. Just... We, we don't need to summon the greater aspect of corn here. <laughs> I just need to roll Mercutio's. So, oh. Ouch. All right, um... <clears throat> so Mercutio and I go on the same turn. Oh, sorry, that should be ascending, not descending. Um, who has the higher agility? What's your agility score, Tiber? Uh, 30. Okay, uh, Mercutio goes first. Alright, I all need you all to right click your characters and if you can add turn. No, I don't um, have any uh No I don't have. Okay, I'm gonna have to do it manually then. Yep. Alright. Um What was your uh initiative Sith? Uh thirteen. 13? Yeah. Does that right. mean I go Marnius. first or last? What's my what? What's your, um... Uh... Twelve. Oh, Alright, then. Altos. Seven. Tiberianus. I, too, was twelve. I'm gonna mo put you as twelve. And Varn. Nine. 
Alright, I, I just love how my initiative is the worst. Now for the fat pig. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. Should He's just gonna need a D10. Wow. Uh, we're on feet, not meters as well. Oh, sorry. It was a new map. I forgot to edit it. That's okay. We forgive you. No, you don't. I know you. You don't know me. <laughs> no one knows me. Add turn. Alright, if I... There's music playing! I can set it to more epic music. Probably a good idea, as long as it's royalty free for, for free now. Since we are entering our first official combat phase that doesn't involve me punishing people for groping me. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. No idea we told him Of course not. Alright. Seven. I believe higher initiative is ever. Let me double check. <laughs> the fat guy goes last. Uh, more time. Blah. Oh, yeah. it's, so it's like me, Poor Mercutio, and Varnius. Aren't I supposed to go last of the set since I have uh, 30 agility? Yes, it should. Okay. Cynthia, you hear the door lock beside you, and you see two thugs barrel up the stairs, guns at the ready. One of them is armed with a las gun, and the other is armed with a simple snub nose revolver. I quick draw my snub up. automatic. Um, uh, hmm? Let's assume once you guys heard this door click, you went ahead and pulled out your weapons. Sound okay. good? Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was just assuming that our pistols were still holstered, so it was like... Um, see if I use burst fire, does that actually induce a penalty? Actually, I believe burst fire increases your chance to hit. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. I swear you only have three shots, though. Well, yeah, true, but still. If I have a uh, burst fire on, I can get rid of one quicker. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. You know? Okay. Now, the question becomes, uh, is there a penalty for being behind Mercutio? And can he, uh, can Scythia take a one meter step and hunker down to be less of an, uh, a usable target? I'll just stand behind and Mercutio. Scythia wanted to <laughs> here. Yeah. You will be firing him, so that will be a penalty. Okay. Yeah, if you stand there, you can move there and shoot at the same time, but you cannot aim and shoot. Mm, okay. So well, it's essentially you're firing from the hip. Yeah, I'm going to try and also, shoot the one middle. Also, is this music epic enough? Yeah, that's good enough. Anyway, I'm going to try and shoot at the one with the last pistol. Which one is it? Uh, is it? Uh, this guy's this guy's the one with the last gun. Okay, well, I'm going to try and shoot him with the last pistol. Okay. Um, remember, right, right. that's the D100. And so, so. Sure. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> I wow. thought you were going to use your, your auto fire. I did. What's the oh. thing for it? Oh, then, uh, basically, for each shot, you have to roll. Uh, ah. Okay. Shot one goes wild. Shot two, is that a hit? What's your ballistic skill? Um, 30. Okay, so shot two hits, shot one, shots one and three miss. Uh, why don't you ever roll where you hit? Um, I'm just rolling the both of them immediately after each other. So, Ooh. hit for seven damage. That in the head. Where'd you hit him? That in the head, 12. Ah, yeah. oh. Right arm, right arm. Right arm, ah. Well, just luckily for you, he has no armor on his right arm. However, uh, basically, it hits him in the arm, he grabs his arm, but he's still he's still going strong. Mm -hmm. Can he still fire his two-handed weapon? Hmm? Can he still uh, fire his yeah. two-handed weapon? That's gone. It's, it's two-handed. It's a rifle. He'll take a penalty for shooting it, but not much of one. Yeah. <clears throat> right. Is that all you're doing, Cynthia? Um. That's all she can do. Yeah, it? that's pretty much all we can do, I think. Fair enough. Uh, so it's good. All 
All right, so next is Varnius. Me. Yes. Mm. I advise taking Fine. out the guy behind you. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Okay. So, I'm going to shoot him with... Oh, wait. Hmm, I could try and cut him with my sword. Yeah, I'll give that a try. Can I take a step step closer to him and cut with my sword? Yeah. Okay. I can't move myself. I move myself there. Wait, that one. Right. You have to check the arrow. <laughs> there you, there go. you go. Step closer to him. Cut with my sword. So I need to roll with me to roll. Weapon skill plus strength, I believe. Weapon skill. I'm sorry, strength only applies to damage, so just your weapon skill. Right, so is that D... 1D100. Guidance. 1D100. Oh, sugar. Roll. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Ooh! Ooh That's a good um, oh, wow. What's your weapon skill? My weapon skill is 22. Is 22? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a... Let's see... Just shy of two degrees of success. So you have one excess degree of success. Why don't you go ahead and roll a uh, your hit where you hit him. Is that just 1d100 again? Yeah. Yes. All right, you managed to chop at his right leg. <laughs> Right legs have a lot of trouble in this game. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why don't you get and roll damage for me? And instead, uh, double your plus if you have one. Sorry? Actually, uh, yeah, just go ahead and roll your damage, and I'll tell you what you get. So what was that? What are you using? Mono sword. Uh, it would only be a 1d10. Oh, what sword? It should be on your character sheet. Yeah, I, I told you what it was. Um, that is melee weapons, sword, melee, 1d10 R. It does uh, 1d10 rending damage with 2 penetration and is a balanced weapon. Am I doing this right? Yes. Some guidance, well, some feedback. Uh, Space Monkey just rolled to me. Oh, sorry. I was just doing that in secret. I was seeing what it'd be like. Okay, sorry. Uh, there's your damage. I didn't see it. <laughs> yeah, so he did okay, six. six damage to his leg. Let's go ahead and since he got a degree of success, we're going to go ahead and essentially add 50% to that. So you actually do nine damage to this guy's right leg. Awesome. Ow. All right, now what does that deal? Does that do any special effects with rending damage? <coughs> um, with rending damage, uh, there's a nice visible gash on his leg. If he were to move or make any agility tests, he would be at a he would be at a disadvantage. Awesome. And now he's in close combat, so he can't shoot you without uh, triggering an attack of opportunity unless he uses a melee weapon. Indeed. Yes. All right. Next. Uh, anything else you want to do, Barney? I'm saying Barney's done. Yeah, I'm done. All right. Mercutio, seeing the guy with the las, las gun, point his gun at him, points his las gun in return. I know. Uh, very, very descriptive, right? <laughs> misses. And he misses miserably and hits the wall just by the, just by, just in front of the guard. Does that trigger a spray of effects that could cause him to be blinded? <laughs> it does not. It just... Okay. It has the roof the road falls in. It takes a step back and crouches. Oh, you can crouch. Oh. All right. Bugger. Oh, so <laughs> it's assumed you crouch. You have a full range of mo movement. You can even go prone if you want. Yeah. Dive to the floor! Hmm. All right. I know we haven't discussed this before, but I'm going to go ahead and say... <clears throat> Blue, blue dot is means you're uh, crouched. Yeah. All right, Tiberianus. 
Um, as do we have like free actions? Like, can I see if the Batman is armed? Like, <laughs> uh, that, that would be a my turn. perception test. Yes. And that wouldn't waste my turn. I could still shoot somebody. Right. I'm gonna shoot the guard. Um, okay. Like, One, oh. the fat man is clearly armed. He's pointing a gun at you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. Okay. I'm gonna shoot the fat man, what kind of gun? Uh, though? With my uh, with my last carbine, I'm gonna fire two bursts at him. A two shot. Which guard? No, no, no. At the fat man. What? Oh, okay. You're shooting really? the fat man. Yeah. Our source of information. Ooh, five. What's your uh, ballistic skill? Uh, if I remember correctly, it is 33. 33. Mm, that is two degrees of success. Yeah, let's kill our <laughs> <laughs> If you specifically tell me you are not shooting to kill, you won't kill him, all right? Okay, Otherwise, I'm not trying to kill him, to just very, very badly burn him. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot his arm, shoot his arm so he can't fire. That'll work. Okay. Um, I roll a shot 10 on, on my two hit. Oh. Uh, where I'm hitting, I mean. Okay, 10. You hit him in the head. Just see, he grazes for it. Oh, Just wow. grazes for it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you idiot. It doesn't have a stun setting. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Does my last carbine have a stun setting? <laughs> uh, how many shots were you fired? <laughs> I fired two. <laughs> and you hit with both. Uh, was the first one. Let's let's make the second roll there the second shot. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> See, you guys are rolling fine now. Um. Yeah. Um. Okay. So I'm rolling very well to not kill him with two shots. Oh. Do I roll a location of hit, or or do they just count as called shots? Um, they count as called shots. I'm gonna shoot him. And so I'm... where are you aiming? Okay then. Um, now D10 for damage. Yes. Yes. Oh, the, the, the D10 plus four. One D10 plus. <laughs> All right. First shot deals. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 13, uh, damage. 13 damage to one of his arms. You can type in plus four in order to automatically add your bonus. Yeah, but I was I was using the yeah slash all. Or is that where you're yeah, plus four? <laughs> and nine damage to his other arm. So we have 13 and 9 damage to both of his arms. In a non-lethal manner. <laughs> All right. Um, unfortunately for you, he is wearing some armor, so it's actually 11 and 7 damage. Oh, my. To both of his arms. Um, yeah, let's just say he's not doing too well. <laughs> oh, at least his arms aren't doing too, too well. <laughs> Can he, right, he can't shoot us right now? Hmm? Can he hold things right now? <coughs> mm, yes. Damn it. Interesting. Uh, he, he's going to have a massive penalty to his aim, though. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, great. He might accidentally shoot himself in the head. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do anything else, Tiberianus? Uh, well, I'm going to um, actually move here and crouch behind the desk for cover. Right, give yourself a blue dot. Blue dot. Wow. Okay, uh, Varn. Okay. Scribe I, him uh... to death, Scribe. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll be can you tell me your a lot I'll be describing in intricate detail. No, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out my gun. <laughs> And there I'm gonna take a shot at that guard there. Okay. I'll be using my. Uh, I'll use my last pistol. Okay. No, if you wish to switch guns, that will take a full turn. Okay. So that's a 1D100. 
to miss. To miss? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I will then crouch behind the table for cover. <laughs> Alright, then you help do that. Okay. Tell us, it's up to you! <laughs> oh, crap, <laughs> not the rule. So, I'm actually doing the best so far. I'll be back in a second, sorry. In terms of what uh, we wanted to do. You and Tiberianus are doing the best so far, and Scythia is in the middle, and everyone else is sucking. <laughs> Why is there a yellow screen? Kaltos does. Uh, Kaltos, what do you do? Do, do, do. Uh, last gun. Extremely good shot. Uh... And mind you, you are sitting down. <laughs> and so we... You may want to... Yeah. That's what I was doing. Combat roll off the couch. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> That's why he did it all along. Mm hmm. He's in a very defensible sport, actually. <laughs> yep. Mm. Alright, go ahead and give yourself a blue dot. Hmm? Give yourself oh, a blue God. dot. I assume you boring. rolled into a crouch. Yep. Okay, give yourself a blue dot. Uh, then I fire at the guy on the couch. My new buddy. Okay. <laughs> you gain a plus 10 to hit since he is sitting down. I get a plus 4? 10. Ooh. You got I miss. getting a plus. <laughs> Let's see. How bad of a player is that? What is plus 6? I think only if you hit over 95, you're 33. Gone. 33. 33? So right now you're shooting as though you have a blister score of 44, or uh, 43. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to say that your bolt goes wildly and knocks a leg off the table. Which table? <laughs> Which table? This one. The one I've only crouched. Oh, okay. That actually gives you increased cover. Uh, that would actually give Varn increased cover from this person. Because the table would fall, tilt, and obscure his yeah. small part. But that wouldn't matter because he's already... Uh, not that tall of a table, it's like a cock. Yeah. Nobody touched I don't leg, think I'm so... that much of a threat to him at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just going with combat mechanics. Onwards! So now we have... Alright. Three, four, five, six... It's now this slug's six turn. people shooting at us. It's now this guy's turn. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Well... I'm glad I'm in cover. <laughs> Well, that's good. Ah, oh. I apologize for this. I was trying to call back, but they were all busy, so it's like, oh, get okay on. <laughs> I guess that guy oh, rolled a uh, 100. <laughs> 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 he just fucked our communication. Alright, um, so what did we miss? So he takes a shot at Varn and misses horribly. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Why did Mercutio roll? Uh, because I was accidentally impersonating him. Then he comes over here and he crouches behind the desk to get more cover. It's cheating, it's not allowed tactics. 
All right. Next is Garden Hallway's turn. Which one? He's going to take a shot at Mercutio. I uh, got it right here. Yeah. Who has plus four armor? How do you ping enemy? Yes, indeed. So you just uh, click, click and hold. hold. Ah, okay, cool. All right, so Guard is going to roll to hit Mercutio, who is crouched, so even at blah, blah, blah. And he misses horribly. Yay! <laughs> this is going well. Next is Guard by Door. Um, he goes to hit Varnius with his butt of his gun. Ooh, and Varnius can parry. <clears throat> Plus ten to his parry check. I can parry. Full dodge. Indeed. Also, minus, mind you, he gets a minus ten because he's using an improvised weapon and he has an injured uh, injured leg. In addition, Varnius... Actually, sorry, that doesn't affect his ability. Uh, with a balanced weapon, Varnius also has plus 10 to the parry. Indeed. Mm -hmm. So, this would be opposing roles. For one, I have to see if he even hits. Here. Okay, he does hit. Now, go to roll, roll the parry, which would be your agility test. Is that, is that another D100? Yeah. 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 Agility test, plus 10, plus your weapon skill. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. You go to parry and you have to miss it. He goes to hit you and he hits you in the left leg. <laughs> um, my name is Anigo Montoya. You killed my brother. No, she will die. All right. Anyways, an improvised weapon would be bashing damage or impact. One d ten minus two. That's so he does three damage to your right leg or uh, left leg, whichever leg. Three leg. impact damage. Don't you have armor, Varnius, on your leg? I do. I have. How much armor do you have? Two armor to each leg. Right, so he does one damage to your leg. You're going to be very badly bruised in the morning. <laughs> Ow. Ow! Bastard! <laughs> Ow. So I'll take this from my... Um, take it from your foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just, if you, if you click the bubble and type minus one, mm. it'll automatically do that for you. There you go. Okay. Uh, now it's Slug on Couch turn. Wow. Slug on Couch will imitate Kaltos and roll off the couch. Where he's now at Easter Target for Vaughn. He's black. Indeed. <laughs> oh, crap. Alright, and he's going to take a shot at Kaltos. Good thing really? he didn't shoot the prone Vaughn. <laughs> uh, you notice this guy actually has a shotgun. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh oh. He can probably just shoot through the couch in that case. <laughs> no, the couch right. is made of Kevlar. <laughs> Again. All right, it's scatter. So, see, I believe he hit. He does hit thirty-three. He hits you in the chest. Oh, that's right then. <laughs> All right, the pump action shotgun. Or is there my range weapon? Sure. Actually, it's just it's just gonna be a pump action shotgun. So. Roll one D. And plus four. Oh, that takes heavy oh, damage. Uh, you have flak armor, yes? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. five, five armor. armor. Plus five. Plus five? Yeah, because of the discard. Did we rule that uh, right. having additional layers of armor would increase your armor rating? We did save yeah. stack. Okay, so he's got five. So that'll only do uh, that'll only do five seven damage. Seven damage. Ouch. Unless there's any penetrating. There's no penetrating. <laughs> sure comes up. Especially at close range. This is very close range. Oh, that's a, that's a three meter couch. That's a big. That sounds couch. pretty standard. All right. Um, other guard in hallway's turn. 
Bling. Bling. He fires at Mercutio as well. He's bigger and clearly scarier. 84, he misses wildly. He doesn't know the fate of the uh, psychic next to the, the guy who's shooting it. Oh. We'd like to keep it that All way right. as long as possible. The Fat Man, also known as uh, uh, the, the Boss, as you guys have most likely guessed. Where is his name? It was right here. Soon it will be Slave of the Empire. <laughs> his name is Chord. Chord. All right. He has a LAS pistol, and he's his arm is injured. So, but he's going to shoot Tiberius. Both of his uh, arms are seriously injured. Yeah, he's going to shoot at you regardless. But he's going to take a minus ten penalty to it. Mm -hmm. Wasn't he walk point <laughs> blank and into it? <laughs> he is legitimately going to shoot himself in the face, isn't he? <laughs> no. It's not a weapon jam. No, um, um, actually, I believe that's one point off from a jam. Which a last. I thought it was ninety-five or above. Uh, that was ninety-six. Huh. Range attack rules. <laughs> Weapon gems ninety-six to a hundred. Oh, uh, that's right. No, no, so, no, no jam. Got minus ten. Oh, so technically, he just rolled a one hundred and five. True. So yeah, let's go ahead and roll a ballistics test. I'm sorry, the weapon fizzles, and his charge pack has to be uh, bumped back into place. Excellent. Which he cannot do that this turn, but he does crouch. Yeah. So Everyone's you're crouched. Um, how close do I need to be for a uh, point blank? Right next to him. You oh, okay then. Try to avoid that. Yeah, I just thought I'd ask. Um, I get crouched to start with. Give me a second. Alright, that'll increase your aim by five. Oh. If you're using a rifle. I'm using a pistol, though. No, no um, it's still same. You're, you're braced, so you gain a bonus. Okay. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to fire at the guard with the laser pistol again. Cool. Uh, you mean last gun? Eh? Last gun. No. Last gun? Oh, yeah, sorry. Pfft. You said plus five, yeah? Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah. Nothing happens. Are you gonna do anything else? Um. Can I see if there's a way of opening the door? A perception test. Currently, at the moment, no. No. Okay, so you can't do it after shooting. Well, you're too busy focused on shooting this guy. Yeah. Okay. We're in combat. Uh, one round, basically everyone's movements takes six seconds. Ah. Okay. <gasps> Varnius. Right. Is there a way for me to try to directly stab this guy in the chest? That's a called shot. A called shot, which is a minus 20. Mm. We want to avoid called shots as much as possible. And you have to, uh, unlike the first time in which uh, Tiber went, a called shot has to be made beforehand. Yeah. Okay. So I just let him do it because, uh, well, one, he rolled pretty damn well regardless. And I would have shot him in the head and blown his head off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll just try regularly um, attacking him again. Okay. You oh. flash at the air beside him. Dang it. You do, uh, let's see, I believe you have two half actions. Two, two, half. So I can try again. Um... Yeah, did it have some sort of assassin skill? I'm half tempted to try on natural aim. <laughs> the problem is it's a um, I don't know. <laughs> the problem is it's a psychic ability. <laughs> oh. 
Do it. We're, yeah. we're <laughs> you can make, you can make two melee attacks a turn. Nice. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> the problem is, it's basically at the edge of my ability, if I remember right, because it's something like nine or above, maybe. Wait, wait, give me a second. <laughs> Did I hit you little, uh, I don't know, what's your weapon skill? My weapon skill is 22. No. I'm sorry, but you missed. <laughs> but you slash at both of those guys' arms and go to either side of them. <laughs> I'm intimidated. But close of a second. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you are fighting Jet Li. <laughs> Alright, I'll leave it at that then. Okay. Mercutio is going to use his turn to change to his shotgun. Can't he just drop his last gun and switch to it immediately? He doesn't have quick draw. Hmm. Ted Arianus. Ha ha. Hmm. If I shoot him again, he might die. Why don't you run up and knock Shoot him over the guys. head? Shoot the shotgun, guys. You know? I could do that. He does not have cover from me, does he? No, he does not. Although, Vaughn could be considered in the way, so if you fail horribly, uh -oh. you could hit Vaughn. I think that's an acceptable risk. <laughs> yeah, Vaughn is right in the way. <laughs> <laughs> you could try to delay duck. My move until after Barnes? Can you what? Can I delay my move till after Barnes? Mm, yeah, I'll allow you to hold it. Alright. There's nothing between you and that guy. But you would have to communicate to the barn, like, hey, move out of the way, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, I can't shoot him, because then I'm firing into combat, and then I would take a huge penalty, and I would risk hitting him. Uh, yes. Hitting Barn, yes. That's a bad idea. Screw it! I'm just gonna yeah. hit this guy. Alright. There's a risk you may hit the boss again. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> Acceptable. <one>. Um... <laughs> He's in cover, so take a minus ten. Minus ten. Why don't uh, you just shoot this guy? Another double burst. Oh well, you may. I'm not shooting him because they're in, because it's in close combat. Okay. All right. Let's see. Ha! Ah, first shot misses. Second shot misses more. Hmm. He scorched the top of the desk. I framed the desk, bitch. In the name of the Emperor and the Order of Malleus, cease and desist and surrender yourselves to our custody. Persuasion? <laughs> Why not roll persuasion? Um. Yeah, can I? Okay, I, I mean, that was actually an intimidation check to get them to surrender. Because it's the Ordo fucking Malleus. Then take, take a fellowship test. That's a pass. Um, he's scared, but he's still sealed in his resolve, but he, he will take a penalty against acting against you. <laughs> <laughs> when you want to intimidate someone, bring out the Ordo Malleus. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones that commands the Sterminatus. Right, um, as an assassin, Varnius, do you have lightning attack or swift attack? No. Unfortunately, no. Uh, then I have made an error in reading the rules in which you may only make one melee attack a turn unless you actually do have a swift attack or lightning attack. What I'm the fuck anyway. Did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> they both missed. Alrighty. Barn, 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 barn. I suppose I should be taking track of how many rounds I have. Yeah, That's I've been doing the same. Not. That's why I went for melee attack. <laughs> So, can I, uh, possibly vault the desk? Really, you want to do that? <laughs> really? You I could, but that would, that would an be an agility test. agility check, you'd have to, you'd be making an attack of opportunity from two people. And you would be flanked. I recommend you just move here, and then shoot this guy. Um, someone just dropped, I think. No? No? No. Okay. I'm going no, no, we're all here. Everyone okay. important is here. Okay. Hey, well, Anything? I was considering trying to get my way over here and try and 
over here and try and get my like take him as a hostage. But seeing as I can't do that unscrupulous tactic, I will um, take a shot at this guy. Um, Tiberianus has disappeared on this. What? On the list of names and pictures and stuff, Tiberianus has disappeared for me. I'm right here. Oh, yeah, that boy. Yeah, I see you. Yeah. But I don't see you on He's the bottom of the list of names. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm off on the right. Oh, well, I'm, short of the <laughs> I'm on the far right. Um, I, I know where you are, but it's just All not right. showing up in the names. Uh, who are you shooting at, Barnes? Uh, this guy. Come on. <laughs> They're not ping. Fine. Oh, the dead ping. That guy. I pinged it for you. Oh. Okay. Uh, even with the plus five, it could be a close range and openness. Yeah, you're not gonna hit, are you? Yeah, I know. No. All can right. I take, can I take hmm? a step this way? Uh, this way? Which way? That way. Yeah, you can take a yes. you can take a one you can take a five foot step. You can move up to three, three meters. Well, let's see, Barney is three meters. Yeah, barn. Yes. Yes, three meters. Okay, nice. Okay. So I could all move away there. Well, um, that would work. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. I'll move over here then. Are you still crouching behind the? Are you crouching yeah. behind the coffee table now? Yeah. Okay. He duck waddled. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a what a. <laughs> What's the accuracy increase to point blank? Plus thirty. I think it's like, thing. yeah. Hmm? Plus, plus thirty. Like plus thirty. Plus thirty. Hmm. Range attack rules. Um. You can move that. Oh, here's the rules for unarmed attack. Can I take a burst fire shot into this guy at point blank? Yes. Yes, you can. Damn. Wow. He is not happy Wait. with any shot in this Yes. Hold on, let me actually look up to see if uh, burst fire is a... Uh... I think burst fire is a full round. Yeah. And these guys were friends. Three rounds, isn't it? <laughs> Chris, now you're yeah. also point blank to a man with a shotgun. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a risk. You better hit. I've got three rounds of point blank accuracy. <laughs> if you're allowed to have <laughs> three rounds, that is. It's three rounds. I was it's just so staring at it, gun. and now I don't see it. It's not so on the gun. This is how you treat your friend. How is you it a friend? full auto burst? Because full auto mm -hmm. burst is a full action. It's not a full auto, it's um, burst. a semi auto burst. A lot of would have been the third round. This is only it's the it's the middle. So it's just a burst shot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like semi auto burst is still a full action. You can fire a shot. So I kind of fire one shot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could try to shove a grenade down his throat. It's a big sis. I'm gonna that move, and I will throw a grenade. Oh, yeah. What kind of Are you going to try and throw it about uh, here? Yeah, sort of throw it into there. What's what's the uh, blast radius on that? Uh, three meters each way. All right, so if you throw it there, so three meters each way, you're going to have uh, blast. I recommend hitting it here. Yeah. Yeah. Onto the side. I believe it's three meters anyway. Could you? Yeah, the GM check. You'll have to roll scatter and stuff like that, though. Oh. I'm so glad I moved. You <laughs> trying the firebomb? Uh, yeah. Okay, because the standard frag grenade is a uh, blast four. <laughs> <laughs> I would take out half this room. 
Ape Roy is cool. I'm Ape it well. Now, uh, the Firebomb Grenade is a 1d10 plus 3 energy weapon with 2 penetration and blast 3. Mine says 6 penetration. Mine I'm looking at the Dark six. Heresy rules, so. Page 137 on the core rulebook. Yes, yeah, no, 131. 137. I'm 131 now. Don't argue with my increased penetration skills. <laughs> You're only harming yourself. Uh, so, do I have any... Ah, sure, sorry. This? Sure. Any role I need to take for this? Yes. Barbarian. Hmm? What role does he have to make to throw a grenade <clears throat> and not kill us all? That would be a strength test based on a strength bonus with ballistics test. It's a um. <laughs> Let's just say I didn't make that. What he missed. That? He rolled a forty-nine. Oh, there's special rules for this. Yeah, it's that well, juicy it's... scattering and stuff like that. You need to roll the one d ten if I remember right. Um, sometimes when playing thrower weapons, it is important to know where the weapon lands should you fail your ballistic skill test. On a failed roll, the GM, me, rolls a 1d10 and consults the scatter diagram. Alright, so roll 1d10. Well, this could fuck you and Bond, Tyler. <coughs> Seven. You were throwing it where? Uh, here. Mm -hmm. I think it goes you over in this direction. There? Yeah, it was there. Yeah. yeah. Doing I think it's going over All this right. way. And then roll 1d5 to determine how far it rolled. Two meters. Oh, wow. Okay. Right on top of this guy here. Yeah. Actually, <coughs> it lands here. Oh. Yeah, right on top of this guy, no? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Um. <laughs> well. You! <laughs> <laughs> you said it was a three uh, meter range. Um, wouldn't the desk also deflect the force of the blast so towards the boss? Yes. Hit that guy. Towards hit that boss guy. Landing. Hit that guy. It would reflect yeah, he, towards yeah. the boss landing here, because the desk uh, is between the boss and the the fire explosion. I would say the fire would stop about two meters. No, I'm sorry. The, the desk could catch on fire, and since he's crouching behind it, he should be fine. Okay. <laughs> but that couch, that couch is fucked. That couch is now on fire. <laughs> right, Where's the guy right behind us? To... We need damage for the two thugs and the couch then. Uh, what would that be? One D10. Also, I'm going to start thinking about how to put the fire out. <laughs> Since we are still in the room and the controls are behind the desk. Is it 1d10 the, plus, ten, plus 4? The firebomb is 1d10 plus 3. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, that's six damage. Let's see, they're wearing them blah blah. <coughs> okay, uh, six damage to this guy. Bing. Yep. And let's see, that puts him there. I'm sorry, no, that, that puts him there. And nine damage to this guy. That puts him there. All right, they're gonna have to make agility tests to avoid being put on fire. <laughs> All right, this guy. Is now he fine. fails. <laughs> this guy also fails. Yes. <laughs> Bad bitches. This guy is out. <laughs> All right, they take uh, 
This guy takes an additional additional damage. Damn, a crit. What? Critical fire damage. Oh, max damage. Max damage, not crit. Sorry. Um, max blue. damage. Is that how it works? Damage dealt determines critical hit? I mm, thought it, it was. should be based on the roll. Oh, okay. Sorry. If you roll a one... You're gonna do some serious shit. Alright, you still have a half turn, but you did throw something. <coughs> I say you use the extra half turn to fix pump. Can I? <laughs> Could he not throw a second grenade? <coughs> no, he cannot. Okay. No, he cannot. He did not fire his gun. No, he cannot. He already used his ah. weapon action. Oh, okay. He can stand up. No, no, no. He really wants to. I think you should just stay there. Yeah. And like, peer over the edge of the couch, make sure you don't light on fire. <coughs> He's changing the <laughs> fire set gun half action. Also, I think the table is now on fire. The table is on fire. The table in the center was made of uh, metal. Oh, okay. Uh, it might. The table is eating up. <laughs> the table oh. which I am standing behind is eating up. <laughs> no, it's not. <coughs> you see fire sprayed everywhere. But yeah, the couch is also on fire. What about the carpet? Actually, anything I can do. Well, the carpet extended here. So, this portion of the carpet, right here. Altos, yeah. can I suggest that you move back <laughs> away from the couch just in case it ends up burning you? No, it should be fine for now. Ah, it does okay. have spread damage, I think. It spreads. And... Ah. <sighs> I'm just doing a test here, make sure this works. Pay no attention to it. Okay, good, it worked. <coughs> He's dying of smoke inhalation. <laughs> Alright, you guys almost Now it's time for minions to move. Alright, the pug is on fire. He must make a agility test to avoid uh, running around screaming. Wouldn't that be willpower? <laughs> to put out fire? I wish I could will fire oh. away. <laughs> no, to stop, stop willpower to control yourself, not to go around panicking. <laughs> well, he, he decides to make an agility test. Uh, actually, yeah. So, <laughs> willpower test. He's still running around screaming, and he fails to put out the fire. Means he takes more fire damage. Lanterns have taught me well. <laughs> Um, actually, the fire damage will take place on Kaltos' turn. Mm. Woo! Alright, now it's, uh, Thug in Hallway's turn. He's going to shoot at Mercutio again. Yay! And he misses horribly. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Thug by Varnius' turn. He goes to hit Varnius. And he fails horribly. <laughs> As it should be. Let's see, it, it was... I think I may be getting these two mixed up, but since they're in order anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, thug, other thug in hallway also tends to fire at Mercutio and fails miserably. Yay! Thug on couch, or thug behind couch, is on fire and attempts to put out fire and fails miserably. <laughs> he is now running away. <laughs> uh, fire is fun. All right. The boss of the operation, also known as Chord, Chord. is uh, notice two notices two of his men burst into flames and must make a willpower test and fails miserably. <laughs> In addition to the negative will of being threatened by a perceived member of the Ordo Malleus. Yeah. No, everyone uh, he, he, is he incapacitated he with fear? For this turn. Yeah. Oh. So not for the um, whole... Okay. Can can the actions inside the room be heard in the hallway by Scythia and Mercur uh, Mercutia? Yes. Or is it a soundproof room? It is not soundproof. It's soundproof that means people downstairs are wondering what the fuck is going on. Well, we have been firing our gun in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope they don't have reinforcements. Otherwise, we might have to pull out of Perils of the Warp test. Look <laughs> at <laughs> 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 frogs. Oh, anyway. 
Again, I'm just going to try and shoot the one with a large rifle, but this time I'm going to do it with the uh, thingy. Ah, uh, burst fire. Again. You okay. Okay, so one, two, three. I had the last one. Um, do any of those hit? I had Which the last one. Okay, go ahead and roll location and damage. Uh, there we go. Oh, that's pathetic, though. Oh, head, though. No, that's not head. What am I talking about? Yeah, I have. Uh, I thought 10 was head. What's 84? 84 is the head? No, I made a mistake. Uh, what is that? Left leg? I don't even see it. 84. 84 and then the 5. Oh. 84 is his right leg. 84 is his right leg. Okay. What's with people? Alright, like... there's 5 damage. Yeah, since he's, uh... He just can't take five damage. You gonna do anything else? Mm, no, I can't really do anything else to be honest. Though there's nothing really to move to. <sighs> Luckily, thugs usually tend to focus on the most powerful enemy instead of picking off the weaker victims. He's also the guy, uh, Mercutio is also the guy with the fuck off shotgun. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright, Vornius. 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 Right. Let's try attacking this guy again. Damn it. Well, assassin keeps one of the thugs busy. Good assassin. I'll let you make the second melee attack. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you have to roll like 22 or better, so. One day. All right. Mercutio is going to fire at well both these cards. They're scattered, but he's going to focus on this guy. All right. Let's impersonate Mercutio. And roll one d one hundred. Ah, yes, I believe that's a hit. This better be for a guardsman. <laughs> yeah, his ballistic skill is thirty eight. Mm -hmm. Hey, the guardsman's on a lot of damage here. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, he's I'm saying better hit since he's a guardsman. Oh wait, do I have a head? Oh bugger, I just remembered. I have a plus ten because of the skills. Wouldn't matter, you'd still miss. I uh, know. I just remembered though for future reference. Alright, so he hits in the head, and we gotta look up the uh, double check to see what the shotgun damage is. Uh d d d d d d one D ten plus four. Does 13 damage to the fucker. In the face. To the oh. head, yes. <laughs> and mind you, half of that scatters onto the other guy, which the uh, the scatter hits him. 41, blah, blah, blah. Hit location table, 41. Hits him in the chest. <laughs> uh. So he takes six damage. Um, now let's go into a different table for this. So many tables. Makes you wish you had the actual book, huh? Actually, it's a lot easier for me, to, a lot quicker for me to do it this way. Uh. Impact, critical, body. Attack knocks the target sprawling on the ground. The target flies 1d5 meters away and falls prone. Down the stairs. So, oh, it, it, no, no matter what, he he basically goes down the stairs, and yeah, considering he fell down stairs after being shot in the chest with a shotgun, yeah, he he's gone. <laughs> so I have to make sure that nobody steals his stuff. <laughs> I, I'm just moving up here because I couldn't get to that. All right. Anyways, the. Uh, so that guy falls down from a careless attack. This guy takes 13 damage to the head. Let's see. Which puts him 
An impact critical head. The impact fills the target's head with a terrible ringing noise. The target must take a t test toughness or take one level of fatigue. That's pretty damn good for being shot in the face with a shotgun. <laughs> one level of fatigue. <laughs> Probably. He, least we can. His, he yeah, does pass the yeah. toughness test. Oh. He's also blinded by you know, lead and blood. So he <laughs> will take any penalties. <laughs> Don't forget to mark him as blind. Yep. How far is that spray again? Sometimes it is. Hmm? How far is that spray again? If you're on a two meter again? wide hallway, there's not much to decide. Yeah, I was just wondering how far is the spread though? You mean the sp scatter attack? It's just the guys next to him. <coughs> Alright, sorry, I thought his head blew up. No. Ah. <laughs> no, half the damage spread over onto the other guy, hitting him in the chest. Ah. And he flung, was flung backwards, just as men hit by shotguns are supposed to be. <laughs> okay, um... Tyder, <laughs> you hear a loud shotgun blast and someone tumbles down some stairs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you hope it wasn't one of your allies. Eh. What did they think when the grenade went off? <laughs> Yeah. Well, what do the customers think downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a firebomb doesn't make a loud boom. It, it's basically... Yeah, but they would start to be going, Oh, look, I smell burning human. <laughs> <laughs> it basically smells like a Molotov. It, it sounds like a Molotov cocktail going off. So, I took a five-foot step right next to the boss. I'm planning on hitting him. Would it be better to hit him with my fist or with my gun? Gun. Gun. I'm going to By the way, he gets in it. He gets an attack of opportunity against five, you. Five foot step. It's a one meter step. Oh, wait. No, you're right. Sorry. My bad. <laughs> Sorry. Five my foot bad. steps still apply even when they're in one meter increments. <laughs> 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 All right. So I'm going to hit him with a melee. That's an improvised weapon, right? Yes, if you hit him with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> you had the table. <laughs> He's going to counterattack with a big meaty fist. Oh wow! In his. Oh. Hmm. Larry, he have like I said, to everything he does against me. Let's see, minus ten. No, no, you're right. He misses with his yeah. negatives. He's got like negative thirty at this point. Yeah, he's scared of you. He's, he's terrified by the fact and... that his guys are on fire. <laughs> Ooh. So, what yeah, this with his big meaty fist alive. This guy's gonna be shell shocked by the end of this. Good. He's gonna be submission he's gonna be submitted to the kind mercy of the Inquisition anyways. Oh since uh he was frightened, that was a flail wildly, so ah! yeah, he just... Surrender, damn it. Alright. Varn, you just saw a fire grenade go off. You heard a shotgun blast and someone tumbled down some stairs. What do you do? Well, well, two people in this room are on fire. Calm yes. Me the one with a shotgun, please. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I shall try and take a shot at this guy for the third time. <laughs> I'll hit somebody sometime. Yeah. Um, since he's standing, uh, I forgot to remove the crouched thing. Oh yeah, because I'm on fire. So, time. regardless, you miss. Well. Yep. <laughs> okay. You want to do anything else uh, for him? I think I'm gonna. How many moves can I take? Three. Like steps. Yes. Okay. I think I will move. Uh. There. I will Next shuffle my way over towards towards Vinus. Um. That would be considering the angle of that move. You have to go That's there and then, or... Oh, that would count as left drain. Yeah, just move here. I'll move there. Oh. I mean... Uh, come on, don't... You move. could always crawl under the metal table. It is true, and it is slightly <laughs> elevated. Because the other leg was blown off. <laughs> uh, is it like a standard table, or is it like a solid base table? But it's got legs, it's got uh, a normal table. It's got legs. Yeah. 
Shoot, there it is, Cap. Yes, that's fair. <laughs> you could. Okay. You could crawl under the table, lie prone, and shoot people. Kaltos, your turn. I've not been able to shoot people when I've got a clear line of sight. <laughs> My um, plan is just to shuffle towards the door and try to find a way to open it. <laughs> Fair enough. Do I have a clean shot on these two people on fire? Yep. They're standing. And because I haven't They're moved, standing, I can burst are... them, can't I? Mm -hmm. They're basically running around in a circle on fire, so do count that as a minus five for moving target. But then I get a plus five for weapon skill. So. so it's normal. Yes. Um. You could hit anything in this fight? room because your range is most likely thirty meters. Yes, you can, as Nothing. long as you do not move. It's hundred meters. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna burst fire him. Right in the face. <laughs> Just okay. Burst fire that guy. So I have a real vendetta against him. <laughs> you used itself. to be my friend. <laughs> you were fucked his advances. No, oh, hit, miss. 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 Well, that might be a hit. No, no, it's a miss. No, it's a miss. Um, Alright, roll for one hit location. Just remember, for the price of one bullet, you can eat three pieces of cheesy toast. <laughs> <laughs> Hands one bullet <laughs> over. Hands uh, one bullet over. Where do I hit him? I think that's the chin. Hmm? I don't Twelve hit him. is the right arm. No, forty-nine. Twelve is the gun. 49. The damage. Forty-nine is the. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, forty-nine is the chest. <laughs> My bad. Oh. Twelve damage to the chest with a two armor with a two armor, so you do ten damage. And he's on fire. And he's on fire. <laughs> so those two guys both take their fire damage. Too. Um. Okay, down to the injury ta table. What were you shooting him with? Laz, uh, Laz gun. So energy. Yeah. Energy crit to <laughs> I don't body. Know like uh, um. The target is completely encased in fire, melting his skin and popping his eyes like superheated eggs. He falls to the ground as a blackened corpse. <laughs> <laughs> so he just made him extra flame. That should have psychological effect on the boss. <laughs> and everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> like, and on their allies, at least. We don't care. I hope we're you're the already. We are on the service of the Emperor. We don't give a damn. Um, it's... Um, I was cleansing his soul with flames. <laughs> the holy fire of the Emperor's steel fist. Or screaming, burn, bitch, burn. Just go and burn out. That song also survived. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad I bought four of these grenades. What? I'm glad I bought four firebombs. Well, they're cheap. They're like five credits a piece. <laughs> yeah, no. You just walk into a bar, buy some alcohol, and make them. You're throwing Molotov cocktails. I have a feeling I should I get one. <laughs> uh, what about this guy? He still needs to take his uh, his resist burning to death charge. No, sorry, cause I forgot that Mark Kaltos has done. <laughs> I was waiting for more, and also for you guys to comment on how everyone is dying. <laughs> Everyone's dying. We're not dead yet. This is okay. The Guy, go ahead and makes an agility test to try putting out the fire. He failed, failed miserably. Oh, I've got 1d5 damage. I've and he takes 5 damage. My guy's unlucky. He's <laughs> really unlucky. He took the flames last time, didn't he? Um, uh, let's see. Attack cooks the flesh on the chest and adds inflicting two levels of fatigue and leaving the target stunned for one round. <laughs> so he can't even put out the fire. In addition to the likely physical trauma of watching his friend incinerated. <laughs> or his he's kind of resigned to his fate now, he's like, oh. Is there a, is there yeah. a bald icon? His hair will have burned off by this point. <laughs> this is what happens when you fight guardsmen. <laughs> when you fight guardsmen inside, while they're wearing armor. When you fight guardsmen outside, it's usually the opposite. 
There. Does that count as a bald icon? Okay. Guy in hallway is. Let's see, that one's dead. That one's okay, fine. guard next to door. Show me what you got. Watch. Uh, he's going to take an improvised swing at you. He misses horribly. Oh, yeah. Other guard, uh, blind and stunned, so we're not even going to worry about him. He did take a shotgun blast to the face after all. <laughs> now for the boss, who has been told the second time. Stop the fuck render. <laughs> he's gonna make a willpower test. <laughs> he's gonna he make fails that. his willpower test miserably. Because in the car, he actually shits himself. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, why did I speak a fight with these people? <laughs> and and he one. decides to run. Into a corner. Provoking an attack of opportunity. Into the fire? Yeah. He he runs this way. Uh, he uh, basically knocks the fawn fire guy to the ground now and runs to the phone tab. He ran through the fire. Yeah. Isn't that entire fire area on fire? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. People caught on fire. Oh. Surely the ground would be on fire as well as it's carpet. You know, it burned up by now. Now, only the only the center strip is carpet, right? In this area. Okay. The desk is all vile. Okay. The desk is metal. I will trust you. That is the carpet. Hmm. Well, now it is metal. Quiet you. All right. Um, you want to roll your attack of opportunity? Yes. I'm going to try to smack him again. Attack of opportunity. I smack him with the butt of my gun. All right. Uh, so instead of successfully playing into the corner, he topples onto the ground. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> just like doink. Everything else, or can we just assume that he's unconscious now? Uh, roll for damage. That's a one d one hundred. What do I roll? And one d ten. No five. I think it's one. Okay, so you did hit him. You hit him in the leg, I think. Thirty four. You hit him in the chest. Uh huh. Okay. Um what do I roll for damage? One D five minus something? Yeah, you hit him with your butt of your gun? Yeah. Uh improvised is one D ten minus two. Hmm. Well, wow, knock out dusters are pathetic. I heal him for one point of damage. No, I'm joking. Oh, yeah, which caused that? No, I do minimum damage. You certainly you stroke him. him. So that one of his dislocated arms go back into its socket. <laughs> you certainly stroke him. There, there. It'll be okay until they kill you. Uh, you do one damage, and you essentially knock the wind out of him. Alright, Scythia, your turn. <coughs> I wonder how many um, people are now like to say, there's no attack to opportunity in Dark Heresy. Who cares, we're having fun. Can I try and perceive the... Fun. Can I try and perceive the door then shoot at him? I am like to see if there's a key card or something on one of these guys, maybe. One or the other. Wouldn't you ah. be intelligent enough to realize that since he closed the door from his desk, you would have to open the door from his desk? Yes, but the guys outside may also need a way in. You know, so uh, if they have a key card that could open the door, then charge in. Mm. Hey, guys, there's a boss in his room with three pretty tough thugs. <laughs> so I met you guys, of course. You think he's scared? Yes. He just wants <laughs> whoever he's beating the crap out of to not run away and for no one else to come in and disturb his handiwork. Okay, yeah, just, fine. Just kill the last guy. Yeah, I'll... Just shoot him. He's blind and stunned. I can... I'm going to do a single shot. And hit. I believe it hit, yeah. Okay. Roll okay, location. Plus 15. Um, uh, let's see if this worked. I tried to edit the macro a bit. 
auto pistol location equals damage. Okay, so 54, 54, 54. I keep switching away from that table. 54 is the body. Okay. And you do nine, nine, damage. Damage. nine energy damage to the torso. Oh, Can no, I fire pistol. again? Uh, the, uh, impact. Nope, not impact. Yeah, impact. Yeah, impact. Were you. Okay. I need to pull up the table. Impact, critical, body. The target jerks back, throwing the force of the attack, throwing back his head and spewing out a jet of blood before crumpling to the ground dead. And sliding down the stairs. Hold <laughs> 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 oh, on, I need to throw the X on him. Uh, uh, Yay! That's fun. Okay then. You, so that was one a half turn. You're gonna do anything else? Can I try kicking the door down? No, you cannot. Mark. No, the combat attack away. versus the door. Also, ah. Mercutio. Also, Mercutio would probably have a better chance of kicking down the door. Eh, uh, probably. <laughs> one minute. Let's see Varnius. what my strength is. Twenty-seven. <laughs> yeah, I'll just wait. Varnius, your turn. You just heard the body slide down the stairs again. <laughs> Right. One last try slashing this guy. Come on, dice. Damn it! <laughs> you want to make a second attack? Go on, then. Oh. <laughs> Damn. You know, you should just... Is it like your melee skill your weakest skill? Yeah, it is. But on the other hand, he's keeping he's kept this guy from being able to shoot anybody this whole time, so he is doing pretty yeah. damn good. <laughs> that is true. Alright, Mercutio's turn. He's gonna make a strength test against the door. He's gonna shoulder check it and try to push it, knock it down. He injures his foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, he shoulder checked it. He injures his he doesn't injure his shoulder, he basically flunks in the door and everyone in the room is loud. <clears throat> What's his strength, anyway? His strength is... 30. Ah. Tiberianus! Okay, so is is the boss unconscious? No. He is knocked prone, though. Hmm. Is there it's anything fancy I can do to just, like, knock him out? Make a call shot against the head? Try it in the door. Yeah, I, I want to cold shock him and knock him unconscious. Make a cold shot against, uh, cold shot against the head with a plus twenty. Oh yeah. With a sickening crack, you hit him upside the back of the head as he slumps to the ground, uh, seemingly lifeless. All you know is he's not moving. Okay, do I have enough well, time to be awesome to shoot it. his buddy? You do not. So uh, I'm just going to uh, put my foot on his back. You can you could have done it from where you were. Dominatrix. Whip <laughs> <laughs> uh, around his neck, foot on his back. <laughs> Note to self. Oh, this isn't soul it. caliber. <laughs> Born. <laughs> okay. I... Just remember, I can install tentacles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can I move through Varnius to the door? Alternatively, you could offer him flanking bonuses by moving here. He doesn't really have a melee weapon. He's got a big I metal died, staff. I have to switch to it. I thought you had a staff. Yeah. Well, whatever. Do what you want. You can also hit him with can your I... gun. You could take a five foot step move here and assist uh, Varnius in combat. I think that gives him bonuses, but that might just be D and D. Okay, then I'll I'll help Varnius then. I shall rise from my stance of crouching behind the table and approach. Yeah. All right, remove your blue dot. Well, I as soon as there we go. And I will. Can I try to hit him with my 
the butt of my gun? Yes, but take a minus five for moving as in the same turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. I would have laughed if that had Wait. What is the five you'd need to do if you were doing that? I need plus five. There you go. Well, you failed both times either way. <laughs> yep, doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Peltos, uh, you killed the fucker, you burned into a charred corpse. You hear a loud crack from behind the desk, and uh, that's pretty much it. Also, the what do you do? The door. Is the second guy dead, or is he still alive? The one next to the boss. The one next to the boss is. He's take his fire damage. He's stunned yeah, as he well. Was. Actually, let's just, he, he needs to take his fire damage first. Is he dead yet? Mm, hold on. God, you people are impatient. I want him dead. As the attack washes over the target, his skin turns black and peels while body fat seeps out of his clothing and armor. The target is stunned for 2d10 rounds and attack has his strength, toughness, and agility. The extensive scarring permanently has the target's fellowship characteristics. We made him ugly if he lived. <laughs> I don't think well, he will. I'd like to shoot at him. Oh, regardless. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Shoot at him. That's Actually. It. Um, well, wait, that was me. <laughs> that was me. That's, he's stunned for 12 turns. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's not shoot at him. Uh, can I change my weapon to my axe? That's... Yes. That's a full action, though. Hmm. Yeah. Unless you have I can't move. Axe. I do not. And end my turn. All and right. now I'll quit my axe. Guy behind desk is on fire and stunned and balding and well ugly. He can't do jack thing crap. Is He's been turned into a naked ball rat. <laughs> All right. Um, the guard that has been exchanging blows with Varnius unsuccessfully says, "Fuck this! I'm going to shoot you with my gun." So he's going to take huge penalties for shooting in close combat. No, wait, that's point blank. Yeah. Yep. Actually, he's going to shoot Varn, the newcomer. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Still messy. Terribly. Phew. Thank goodness, because that would be just my luck. I've done nothing productive for the entire <laughs> of this battle. And he's going <laughs> to take a step here. Provoking no uh. attack opportunity to do with the fact that it is a five foot step. The boss is unconscious. Sit here. Can I put away my gun and quick draw my uh, staff to try and whack at the door? If you have quick draw. But you can't yeah, get out of Mercutio's in the way. Ah. I was just going to you try and head the head. You can to step out of the way, though. You could always go down the sp I, I shouldn't be giving you advice, so you can't hear me. Well, I could through the wall, but still. Yeah, I you request oh, Mercutio oh, to I'm step aside. Meaning fire or gun? So I request Mercutio to step aside, yes. And I'll try and smack the hinges with the staff. As a free action. Okay, and I'll try and smack it with a staff, which is 1d10. Well, one, roll to see if you even hit the door. Yeah. Which is, by the way, at a plus 30, because it's a standing still object. And you miss. <laughs> yeah, swing at the door, and with all, your staff makes a loud ringing noise as it bounces off. <laughs> Oh. Can I move back out the way? Yes, I'll let you take that as a reaction. I'll also move back out the way so you, um, because you can try. <laughs> We're like taking turns each. Morning, yes. Right. Oh no, I can't change what I'm going on. No, because I haven't got quick draw. So, but I, I can take a step smart. forward and try and stab him again. Yeah. yeah. Right. And you're standing, so your walk is actually six meters. Ooh, oh. hit! Yay! <laughs> it seems in order to hit, you have to approach them and swing before you're in front of them. Because <laughs> <laughs> your arms are so damn long. 
Right. Where did I hit him? Flag Ninety-seven. Flag? Left leg. This is the war against legs. You just <laughs> hit him in the left leg. <laughs> I got his right leg down. The left leg's turn. I actually <laughs> think that's a crit, is it? No, wait, no. no never mind. Not that. Not good enough for a crit. Okay, so just roll your damage. And that is what's that again? You should have this on your character sheet. Yeah, but I have to keep switching. What page are you looking at? Marnius, sword, 1d10. You can set up as a macro, Jordan. Hmm. <laughs> your scratch is like... Yeah. Damn it! You have marked him for the hunt. The wild hunt? So even if you hit, you can't hit him well. He did pretty good the first time. Yeah, he did. Mercutio attempts to shoulder check down the door again. Like, I remember to impersonate him. And uh, fails hey. miserably. Tiberianus. Tiberianus is going to look under the desk for the button to open the door. Yeah. <laughs> it is a very obvious button. I'm going to press the button and open the door. Preferably just as we're going to try to... What? <laughs> a desk explodes. That was the wrong button. No. <laughs> okay, Joking now, but you all of a sudden I, I hear save the... against the damage. Everyone hears the door click open. Uh, that was a free action to do that. What do you want to do next? Oh, uh, is, is this guy still alive? He's stunned for 12 turns. He's on fire. There's no point. Probably not. We're going to walk over there and try to put him on, out, uh, put out the fire on him. Really? Sorry, a second. Why? Okay. Information? So that he has to live got... the rest of his life as a horribly That's deformed... That's what we got this guy for. So I'm not going to be able to do anything else. I can't shoot anyone, and I'm not going to just shoot him. him. Just execute him. Ah, uh, fine, I'll execute him. Because if you don't, I'm coming over there, there with my axe. I quit. Are you happy? <laughs> or do you want to shoot him? For... <laughs> if you failed I'm horribly, Tiber, I would have had you catch on fire. Hold on. <laughs> oh. uh, what bonuses do I get? Because I have a ballistic skill of 33. And it's point blank. He's stunned, so plus 10. He will plus oh, 30. Total, so. Yeah. Ah. You hit him in the white leg? Seven damage for seven. seven. And what'd you, what'd you hit him with? Seven, six with my last rifle. Or last carbine. You hit, did you hit him with the actual, uh... No, I shot him. Bolt? Or did you hit him? Okay. For seven damage. Energy critical, and you hit him, and who cares where you hit him? Well, actually, for narrative test, where did you hit him? Was this, uh, 76 where you hit him? For where you hit him? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so you hit him in the right leg, because <laughs> rough legs. <laughs> <laughs> if you hit him in the leg, they can't crawl away! <laughs> He's on fire. <laughs> Let's see. In a terrifying display of power, the leg immolates and fire consumes the target completely. The target dies in a matter of agonizing seconds. Good thing he was unconscious. <laughs> Not unconscious, just stunned. <laughs> well, now he'll be forever stunned. Hmm. Horrible Alrighty. <laughs> Can we roll a check to see if Mercutio uh, went stumbling through the door after I opened it? <laughs> I was wondering if we'd end up checking to see if someone gets smacked in the face with it. Yeah. yeah I... <laughs> Does it open in or out? It opens it opens inwards. He uh, he stumbles in. <laughs> Last time he tried to roll his <laughs> Okay. I. I'm going, if seeing as I can't hit anything worth a damn, I am going to demand the guy surrender. Roll your With check. That's a, that is a uh, fellowship chest. Fellowship. Check. Fellowship chest plus 20. 
No, I did it. All right. Um, he's going to make a willpower test. He fails this willpower test. And he basically drops his weapon. Don't kill me! And throws his hands up in the air and AS. Don't kill me! I don't want to die. I don't, I don't want to die. Hey, guys, no. I finally did something useful. <laughs> you used the power of your voice. <laughs> Shut the yep. fuck down! To be fair, we did set what, two of his mates on fire and burn them alive. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to end up like them? He shot the other two down the stairs. Right, successfully intimidate the thug. I mean, the guy was completely incapacitated and on fire, and our tech priest walks over and shoots him in the leg and incinerates him. <laughs> uh. I was gonna put out the fire so that he would live with horrible agony for the rest of his life. But, you know. Basically, what just happened was. We came in to look for one guy. <laughs> hey man, wanted information. You fucked with us and we killed you all. <laughs> uh, I commence the looting. Appearing. Yes. Can I loot the guy with a shotgun? With the combat shotgun? Or um, top action? Actually, considering start, it burned up. Before we start. Can I give it to the tech priest? Fire. To fix. Hmm? Damn, I was going to ask fire. for that. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let, let me go and make a roll for that. Let's put out the fire. Uh, as the DM. Yeah, the fire has, long, has fizzled out by now. Oh, okay. Thank it God. Was a, it was an asbestos couch. Oh, joy. <laughs> oh, it probably would be, too. Eh. Alright, everyone. Somebody knock out that guard. What did that guard have anyway? Uh, just a normal rifle. Um, they were las guns, weren't they? No, I mean, what did this one have? had a shotgun, and everyone else had las guns. So this one had the las gun. Mind you, he had a shotgun. Which one? No, I was talking okay. about. <laughs> Taltos, I assume you uh, you said you wanted to loot this guy. Yeah. All right, you pick up the shotgun, and through the extreme heat of the fire and this guy being on fire, um, all of the ammo has been rendered useless, and the barrel is warped. I'm going to see if I can fix it. Wouldn't the ammo have exploded? It was actually a pump action shotgun, not a combat shotgun. Yeah, I can't pump fix it. Well, my goal. I, mm -hmm. I cannot fix it. Okay. I, I rolled a 60. Um... So, so, despite my plus 15 for tech use... Well, you break it. Worse. No. <laughs> I have just... I technically failed by about 10 or 15 points. Alright, oh, mind you, these blue lines here in the back are denoting windows. Oh, I'm gonna look out the window and see what's happening. Quick, quick, everyone! Get to looting before the, before the enforcers get here! He got shot in the you head. push the curtain nope. aside, and you see some more thugs enter the building below, as well as some enforcers just pushing people out of the way to see what the commotion is. Look quickly! Look quickly! Um, you, judging by how crowded it is out there, and the thugs trying to keep the enforcers out, you say about ten minutes. Can we run away? We'll say now got five minutes. Go I have on him. Is there a bank um, door? Like a what you knock him out. Time? You knock him out, yes? Yeah. Uh, okay. Alright. Can I um, roll for awareness? To see any why, um, just quickly, why don't we actually just knock him out? Because he's heard of what we're... No, kill him properly, because he's heard where we're from. From what arm we're on. We're, just we're not meant Saul. to... Yeah, but we're not meant to uh, unveil where we're... What we're working this for. This is the grim dark of the 41st millennium. So just kill him. But he did surrender. Yeah, but kill him. I was gonna try tie him up and take him. For information. Yeah, <laughs> tie him up and take him. We'll tie him and the boss up and we'll take them. All oh, right, okay. Yeah, well, but after that we have to kill them because they know oh, yeah, we're what we're working for. Oh yeah, we're gonna dump their bodies in the middle of the. We're gonna dump their bodies in the protein. Oh, bag. of course they can't be any loose ends. It's just we need some sort of guarantee that we're gonna get out of here alive. Yeah, maybe taking. And we're not very good at talking to people. <laughs> <laughs> Worst to worst, we can send our psyker down to suck the barrels of the warp. Yep. Um. <laughs> yeah. We've we've got an auto destruct button. Wait a minute! I can jump. 
I can actually jump down and float, remember, so I could just jump out the windows and float people down. That seems like a bad idea because then you'll be right here in Whereas we want yes. to from I just rolled away. Uh, there's also a window or... here. Yeah. Where escape exits. Okay, you know the you have the windows on the north end of the room. Yep. And you remember when coming up through the uh, up the stairs, you saw a window at the end of the corridor. We're gonna have to jump out a window, aren't we? Hey, get to looting! Sophia, Mercutio, loot the bodies at the bottom of the stairs. Everyone else, France. I'm going to run over to here. Okay, uh, I'm going to so... rifle through the desk with a 16 uh, perception. So how do you loot enemy? Okay. Just come over here. Grab everything Fuck. they have. Yeah, I was wondering Harry if it was like an agility or a perception or something. Ted Arianus, rifling through the desk, you actually find a couple of useful items. Okay. You find a charge pack for a last pistol. You find about... 300 thrown gills. I mean, this guy was a drug dealer after, work, Ooh, after all. Nice. All right, now, let me go. Let me, uh, I'm going to write this down as a physical copy. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Alrighty. All right. There is also a, uh, there's also a flash grenade, a, a blind grenade in the desk as well. Nice. You should have used that. You didn't really have the amp. It's essentially a smoke grenade. So I left. Did, did any of the drugs on the table survive a battle? Can we, like, take them and sell them? <laughs> <laughs> that would be heretical. Why would it be heretical? Uh, we are using oh, the, the instruments of the enemy to further fuel the, uh, the grand noble go cause of the uh, Inquisition. But well, dirt I mean, in your hands is still dirt in your hands. Taking the drugs yourself would be fine. Selling the drugs would not. Oh, okay. What about using right. them to bribe other people? No, you could use that to bribe other people. Okay. So, uh, okay. 300 gauls, uh, last just a charge pack, blind grenade, what else? Uh, well, well, okay, blind grenade is actually a smoke grenade, so let me go ahead and refresh that. Um, I'll go ahead. You also notice a data slab. Uh, what would it be to jump out the window? First, look out the window and see what's below it. Then figure out how tall it is. You may have to take damage. I failed. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna jump out the window. No, you're not gonna just jump out the window. Uh, moving on, what else is in the desk? A data slab, did you get that? Yeah. yeah. Uh, mark it down as a color to help you remember that there's a green band on it. Data slab, green band. That, that way, it's just to help identify it from others. Also, as you continue rifling through the desk, you find a couple of shells for a shotgun. Uh, what kind? Are they normal, or should I? do I have to check later? I'll check later. All right, and... Do, 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 what do, do I get do, from do. these corpses? Um, well, we'll resolve well, one loot issue at the time. Ah, okay. Sorry. Yes. So we're yeah. There's not much else besides random collections of notes that are essentially ledgers. I'll grab those anyways. Also, okay. try and grab any medicinal drugs. They're all medicinal uh, way or another. Well, yeah, I'm true. I'm gonna take, like... No, we're just take gonna all grab them all sorts of decide what to do with later. ...utilized to, uh, <laughs> beneficial effects. Or As you start taking all of the, his notes out of the desk, you notice a Vox caster. That's handy. I'm grabbing that. Other than that, you know, there's nothing else that would be rendered useful to you. Okay. Uh, is there anything in the room that we can use to tie up the two survivors? Um, they're both wearing belts. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna use. Um, I'm gonna do that. Wrap their wrists up, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Stuff their. Um, Tear up the shirt and stuff the, the the shirt in the mouth with the gag. Uh, anything on the uh, on? Uh, did anything survive this guy? This guy. I didn't see a ping. If he did ping it, this guy. He's this guy. 
Um, his charge pack and his weapon have been basically rendered into black husk. All right, so there's nothing there. Um, okay, I'm going to grab this guy and uh, drag oh, him. Oh, um, sorry, I did forget to mention, on this guy here, the only thing that did survive was a fire cultus was... Oops. <laughs> that was my bad. One throne gelt. <laughs> Yay. As for the guy you're also standing over, Tiber, you also find one throne gelt. <laughs> the minimum wage will be his guy. That's all that survived. The rest melted. We did We did kind of incinerate both of them. Yeah. Okay. That's true. Um... What's Scathia get? Okay, uh, you want to go over Scythia's loot? Mm -hmm. No, also, um, I assume you also searched the fat man for loot? Yeah. You find a couple of rings, one silver, one iron, a uh, small chem testing auger, an obscura injector. Hold on, I write slow. <laughs> Ring iron. Uh, so ring silver, ring iron. Yes. What was that? After Chem that? testing auger. Yes. Chem testing auger. Okay. You also find on him thirty throne gilt. Thirty G. And also you find one more charge pack for his last pistol. Uh, did the last pistol come out all right? Um, his last pistol did come out fine. Okay. Wish I'd incinerate the guy with the shotgun. I'll, I'll accept you know, the last pistol it's... later. Yeah, okay. And you also find a couple of rounds uh, for a revolver, and you see a stub revolver also tucked into his belt. Revolver stub... The revolver does have a, yeah, does have a full uh, eight total, two out of the gun, six in the gun. Alrighty, uh, next. Mm. That's everything that I can see. Oh, and a knife, but it's a cheap knife that's not worth a damn. I'm gonna just leave it. Um, okay, uh, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna drag him over to the window here. See if uh, see what I can see out there. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're just going to go ahead and assume you're carrying him over your shoulder. Yeah. All right, Scythia. Uh, also, Varnius, on um, this guy, the one you knocked out, or whoever searched him. Mm. You find two thrown guilt. But they are getting paid very little. Oh, yeah, also, but... you find an Obscura injector and a half charged charge pack. And his gun. Yes, and it's gone. Uh, so Mind you, carrying around 30 weapons, I would consider unwieldy. Oh, we don't have pack pack and what? Charge pack, half charged, and his last gun. <laughs> um, like I said, I would personally find carrying around too many weapons uh, unruly. Well, the point is to get them and then sell them. Yeah, I know, I'm just saying. Yeah. Do you know that if you guys pick up too many, I will count, start counting penalties? Mm -hmm. Um, how, are, how many, are there curtains on the window over here? Yes. Okay, uh, I'm going to peek out the window and see what's on the, uh, what's outside. You see people gathering around the corner outside, but not much else. Uh, does, does from just... what you can see, mm -hmm. it's pretty clear. All right. And looking out, you think you see a crate below the window. All right. I have uh, a line. Can I use that to... Osman, jump out the window, uh, see if it's safe, I'll toss down the fat man to you. <laughs> I have a grappling hook, I have roll for this. Hmm? Oh, that's right, can he use the grapnel to uh, lower the fat man to the ground without killing him? Yes. Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh, but I'm gonna tear the curtain down and wrap the fat guy up in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's move on bag. to uh, Scythia's loot resolution. Scythia, you find the one guy that had the uh, stub revolver. Okay. It's intact, and it's missing three rounds. 
Okay. I believe he fired three times at you. Yeah. You also find in his belt three more rounds for the pistol. Okay. You find five thrown gelt. <laughs> and then a mascara injector on one guy. How do you spell that? A B S C U R A. Did I say A? Why did I say A? And Tor, right? Okay. And on the other yep. guy? On the other guy, you find his LAS gun, a full charge pack, and two thrown gelt, as well as another Obscura injector. Okay. So two Obscura injectors. The last gun, full charge pack. Yep. The charge pack in the last gun he's currently holding has about 58 shots. Okay. And there's 58 shots in the one that's currently in the rifle? Yes. So you could say dump out the charge pack and leave the gun. Or you could take the gun, your choice. Oh, I'm going to take the gun, now. I think. Probably try and All get right, to so... using it later. Yeah, and in order, if your gun list starts extending off of your sheet, then that's when I'm going to consider you guys uh, overburdened. Mm -hmm. Mine's nearly like that anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your fault. Alright. Um, that sounds about, that's about it. That's all you got, all you find on those guys. Uh, Mercutio, grab, grab the living thug. Marcusio, Marcusio will do so. All right, all, all right, everybody, let's get out of here. Turn. Jump out the window. Okay, so Kalthos is gonna jump out the window. Let's see what I'm happens. Gonna grapple out the window. Safely. <laughs> You're grappling with the fat man, safely. Mhm. Mm all right, we're gonna move back to the city map. <laughs> Where are we going to run to? Mind you, your window is here. The guards right. are entering over here. I mean, horses, I should say. Yeah. So we're going so, this way. <laughs> yeah, we are going this way. We're gonna we're gonna head down to the. Uh... There's also this alleyway down here. Ah uh, well, where does that alley lead? Anywhere? Mm, as far as you can tell, it's just a very dark alley. All right. Uh, we'll get. Um, bloody hell. We should watch from the area. We should just move on to our. Yeah, we'll get Kalthos to we'll get Kalthos to move up towards the. The hab, the hab stack to make sure there's no guards while we run down the alley with our, uh, with right. our prisoners. <laughs> also, um, we'll get. Don't uh, somehow you guys make all of these movements completely unnoticed. Awesome. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> all right, let's uh, let's get into the hab. What's what happens when we get into the hab stack? You throw open the door. It's a grungy. Oh, so lobby. it's literally an apartment. So, wait a minute. Can we pause it That's here? That's why I imagine an abstack would be. I All could right. be wrong. But hey, my rule, uh, my rule trumps everything. It's a grungy lobby. At the far end, uh, at the end of the room, there's two elevators. Mm -hmm. And they're both broken can we... down. There's also a set of stairs. Can we pause for today? Can we yeah. what? Pause for the day. Yes, we can. Yeah, See, I think the, oops, sorry. See the quest items like the chem lamp and all that. Are you counting that under gear or just items that are? I just lumped yeah. it all under uh, bonus quest gear for me. Ah. Okay. Uh, chem lamp does not count as quest gear. It was given to you for the quest, but it can be destroyed like anything else. Okay. We got one of each for that. Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to drop my chem lamp because you can always use torch in some of them. Let's just drop it. We can sell that shit. Well, I'll, I'm you over to Avoid using any psychic powers whenever possible. You would keep the chem lamp. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, I don't want to end up collapsing again. <laughs> collapsing is the least of my concerns. Yeah. He'll collapse and get his legs shot off and bleed out. <laughs> That wouldn't happen. So, Sin, I believe uh, some people have things to do. I believe this is an end of an episode. Awesome. Well, it is 20 past 12. So, uh, 
You guys. This has been Operion. I hope to see you guys all next time. Indeed. See you. And until next time, all the best. And I Bye. hope you enjoyed. Bye. Curiosity signing off. Have fun or die trying. But please, try not to die. I can't handle the losses. Bye-bye. Or summon the Hoarders of the Warp. <laughs>